All right, y'all, we're going to derive the Van Hoff equation. I've derived this a few different ways. You can check out the other methods down below. But in this video, we're going to start off with the Gibbs energy and equilibrium equation, the change in Gibbs energy G of a reaction under standard state. So a constant pressure of one bar equals negative RT ln K, K is our equilibrium constant. And our other equation is the Gibbs energy equation, delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. And if you compare these two equations, you'll notice that the right-hand sides both equal equal delta G, so they have to be equal to each other. And from here, we'll divide both sides by negative RT to give us this equation here. And now we're going to take the derivative with respect to T. And that's just what we have on this side. And you'll notice these are regular single variable derivatives. They're not partial derivatives here. And the reason they're not partial derivatives is because we're assuming that the entropy change and enthalpy change are constant. So what that means is it doesn't matter what temperature we do the reaction at, delta S has the same value and delta H has the same value. They will change with temperature, but we'll assume they won't. And over small temperature ranges, it's usually a pretty good approximation. So with that, this is what our derivative becomes. So the left-hand side is the same. We didn't really do anything there. The right-hand side is the derivative of negative 1 over t, which is positive 1 over t squared. This term is a constant, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So this is the Van Hoff equation in differential form. <laughs> in all its glory, but unfortunately it's not the most useful form, uh, for exams anyways. So to get into a more useful form for us, we want to multiply both sides by dt and then integrate, which is what we have right here. And this integral might look complicated, but imagine long k is just x. The integral of dx is x. So this integral is not too bad, it's just the same thing right here, uh, state 2 minus state 1. And delta h and r are constant, so they get yanked out of the integral. So we have the integral of 1 over t squared, which is negative 1 over t, which is gives us this part right here. Now we're going to use a log law to merge these two terms together. And this, my friends, gives us the Van Hoff equation in its integrated form. And I just wanted to pause for a moment to talk about what this means. We're not changing the temperature. So even though there's two different temperatures, it's not like we're we're changing a, a temp the temperature with this process. Imagine you're doing the reaction twice. At one temperature, you get an equilibrium constant, and then you do the reaction again at another temperature, which gives you another equilibrium constant. Okay, anyways, I've got a few exam problems on this if you want to check those out. And I've also got tons and tons and tons and tons of other videos on thermodynamics. So best of luck to you. I know that thermal is not the easiest subject, but hang in there and you will survive. Cheers.